Hello and welcome to Bud's Home Automation and Repairs. If you're new here, welcome. If you're one of my current subscribers, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about the free community installer. This is a nice app that you install within your SmartThings app that allows you to do one click installation of a variety of community developed smart apps and devices. Let's get started. For installation, we're going to jump down to where it says advanced installation. In order to set this up, you have to have a GitHub account. And uh, I'm going to show you how to set that up in just a moment. But it's important that you have that. Uh, GitHub is essentially a repository for code and the developers of these different apps place their code in this public uh, storage site, if you will. And then once you have your GitHub account set up, we are going to need to go into SmartThings and use the SmartThings IDE or Integrated Development Environment uh, to connect with the GitHub code. And once that's established, that's a one-time thing that you have to do. After that, uh, then you'll be able to uh, easily pull in uh, any of these apps using the uh, community installer. So let's go over to the uh, GitHub site. To get there, I'll leave this link below. It's just github.com. And when you come in there, you'll want to sign up using a username, an email, and a password. The, the purpose of that email is to verify your account. Uh, then you'll be asked to select the plan. You can just select the free version. On the next page, it'll say, welcome to GitHub. Uh, you wanna scroll, scroll down to the very bottom of that when you see the welcome message and just select complete setup. That's all you need to do. You do not need to create a repository. Once you've done that, uh, go ahead and stay signed in to GitHub and then go into your SmartThings IDE. So I'm gonna go over there now. Uh, here is the address for the SmartThings IDE. I'll leave that also below uh, so that you can log in. You'll log in. Most of you should be converted over to a Samsung account at this point. So I'm gonna log in with my Samsung account. Uh, next thing you wanna do is go to my locations and then you'll select uh, your home hub. After you've done that, you can go to your smart apps. Here are some of the smart apps that I have published in here. Okay, so when you get into My Smart Things apps, you're going to see this little button here that says Enable GitHub Integration in the upper right hand corner. Just click on that, and you're basically going to click on this link. And when you do that, it's going to guide you through a process. It's going to take you to your GitHub account and give you instructions on how you can authorize uh, GitHub to work within the SmartThings app. So I'm going to go back. Once you have that in, if you go to settings, you will then note that the SmartThings public repository is connected to your SmartThings account. And uh, you'll also be able to go to update from repo. You'll see a list of all the apps that are available through the GitHub site. At this point, we're ready to add the community installer from the GitHub repository. Uh, so what we want to do is go into settings first. We're going to add a new repository. And in here, we're going to put the information from the community installer. We need to put the owner's name and the name of the app into those boxes there. So we're going to just copy those, go back to our GitHub repository integration and put that information in those fields. And I will leave the owner and the name information in the description below. Then you hit save. Once that's saved, you can basically go to update from repo and we're gonna select the ST community installer that we just placed in settings. 
then you want to select this particular app on the top that says st-community-installer.groovy go down and click on publish and then execute update all right so now you see that it has saved that within your smart apps the next thing you want to do is click on that link click publish and click for me you'll notice up here it says that the smart app is published successfully go back to my smart apps tab now click on this edit properties and what we're doing here is basically authorizing the app so you want to enable OAuth in smart app and then update and you'll see confirmation at the top that it's been updated. Let's go back to my smart apps. Okay, now it has been added. Everything's working as it should. So now we need to go into the smart app. Okay, now we'll go ahead and go into our smart things app. I am using the classic app. First place you wanna go is to the marketplace. Next, you want to switch to Smart Apps, as you see up here. Okay, and then we'll scroll all the way down, and you want to click on My Apps at the bottom. In this, we want to search for the Community Installer. We'll select that. We're going to go down to the IDE Login Account Type. We'll select Samsung and hit done and then you want to hit save it now confirms that the smart things community installer is now installed okay at this point we want to go into our automations it's in the bottom middle down here so we'll click on that and then we see the community installer in the list go ahead and click on community installer it confirms that uh, it says here thanks for installing we already have our login type selected so we want to scroll down and click on installer home when you do that it'll ask you to sign in to either your samsung account or your smart things account we'll click on the samsung account go ahead and log in sign in here it's loading and now you can see the various apps that are available through the community installer there is echo speaks the app that I referred to in the previous video that allows you to uh, integrate your Amazon echo devices into your smart home environment so that you can create virtual echo devices and this allows you to speak text, make announcements, control media playback, including volume and many other features. So that's a very nice app. I highly recommend that. Here is Echo Assistant. Uh, there's the Echo B Suite Manager. And you can see there's HomeBridge devices. There's a lot of apps that you can use to help uh, further automate your smart home including the ever popular web core app uh, that allows you to create rules for your smart things uh, so I guess as a sample I'll set up uh, let's do echo assistant uh, so you just click on the app that you want to install you can see information about the author you can get github details so here you can see the owner that's the first field that you put in the settings on the uh, smart apps when you want to uh, source a github uh, the github code so the owner would be the first field the repo name is echo assist 4 and the branch is master uh, but really you don't have to know all that because this will uh, install that for you as you can see here it's going to install a parent app and it's going to install two child apps that go along with the parent app. So all you have to do is click on the install button. 
So it's adding the repo, it's analyzing, getting the data, installing the smart apps. So it does it all for you. All those steps we went through uh, to install the uh, community installer, it does all that for you. Then it confirms everything's been added. At that point, you simply hit done at the top there. Okay, and then hit save and go back. Now you need to go back in to the uh, marketplace. Click on the My Apps down here at the bottom. You'll see Echo Assistant there. Click on that. Okay, and then hit Save at the top. So it's now installed and automating. Then you need to go back to your automations in the middle here, this little house with the check mark. And you see now Echo Assistant is in the list and then you can go through and begin the setup and there's documentation uh, on the smart things site how to set each one of these up and that's pretty much it that's uh, how easy it is then to install these additional apps and I would encourage you to use it to go ahead and install echo speaks uh, I will leave some documentation that will help you go through that setup because it's a little bit detailed to get through that process and the link that I will provide you will take you through step by step if you want to set that up as well. So I hope you enjoyed today's content. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, you may want to give it a like. No pressure though. I appreciate having you here today and uh, hope to see you again. Until then, bye for now.